everybody and thank you so much for stopping by Our Great House. My name is Lisa and in today's video I'm showing you three more DIY pumpkins. Super easy. This is my pumpkin patch series part two. Uh, especially one and two. They're so easy. It's like, it, it, I don't even know if I should call it a DIY, but I am. So I have three DIYs for you today. Let's get crafting. DIY number one. Okay, I don't feel that this is so much of a DIY as me showing you how to do that, which I guess is do it yourself. So I'm showing you how to do it yourself, but um, this is not complicated. Kids could do this. I got this dish towel at Dollar Tree. You can use fabric, you can use um, an old plaid shirt or something, or an old, you know, t shirt, whatever you want. I'm just gonna kind of. Um, loop this over to make a square and so I'm just going to take it over like that because I don't need this much extra fabric and so I'm not going to be like I said it's not super exact science I'm just I don't need all the extra fabric and maybe I could use this part of the towel for something else who knows so cut that and oh by the way I'm showing you how to make a pumpkin <laughs> pumpkin out of toilet paper and a dish towel okay so we put this in the middle and then we take the corners and we're gonna tuck them in and I'm just tucking it down in like that I'm trying to keep it a little bit tight so um, I just think that it will look better <laughs> so um, and then on the sides here I try to make it like tucked in a little bit more um, you can kind of just like fix it at the end I mean but then go to the other side and again just kind of making sure all the stuff is tucked in so then it's gonna look like this and then you take this is just a piece of a limb off of a tree outside you can use I think Dollar Tree sells them I've never really seen them there but Dollar Tree also sells little pieces of wood like this. You could use a cork if you wanted to. There's tons of things you can use. I happen to have this on hand, so I'm gonna tuck it down, and that's how it turns out. So now you have a pumpkin. DIY number two. For this project, I am taking this Dollar Tree pumpkin wood cutout, and, oh, I already cut it. <laughs> and so it was a dollar. I don't I haven't seen them so stuff like this guys when you see it at Dollar Tree you pretty much need to snag it because it's gone it's gone like that I am gonna paint it with this rust-oleum chalked ultra matte paint in linen white I find that it gives really good coverage and I've um, been watching this gal named Holly over on hot, hot humble pie and she makes her own chalk paint which I'm kind of like Hmm, maybe I should try that. But today, we're just gonna use this. There we go. So I'm not really gonna paint the back. I'm just gonna paint the one side. Which side do I like better? Does it matter? Let's use this side. I'm gonna put the word thankful. Did I tell you that? I'm gonna put the word thankful on top. But I'm gonna use a little bit different technique than I've used before. I'm not really worried about that little um, hole that the uh, tag was in, the little jute was through. It doesn't matter to me because I'll probably cover it up with a little bit of raffia or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh great, I got that on the, on the table. I don't know why I was being so careful with the table. This is what I have this piece of, um, I don't even know what this, but not, it's not foam board. Like, uh, poster board I guess so just doing a quick coat I think I'm gonna try this dressing technique on this as well call me crazy I don't know I, I watch so many other DIY videos and I just think they look so cool and uh, I do tend to like the rustic vintage you know weathered look so it's right up my alley. There's somebody building a house close by, and we can hear it today. It's a really gorgeous day outside. And yeah, this is normally a busy season for me because this is when the State Fair of Texas is normally happening, and uh, but we're not having it this year. 
Whoa, crazy. Oh, I should have sanded the edges because that's that's feeling a little that's feeling a little wonky right there. How's that coverage? Is that coming through okay? I feel like it's might need a second not a second coat, but I'm not the best painter because I'm just not patient. And the lighting's not always that great in here for me to be able to see how it's how it's coming on the piece of wood or whatever I'm painting. So I'm gonna just go over again. Yeah, I can see I can see lots of spots I didn't get that great. Hmm. Okay, now we're gonna let that dry. Our wood cutout has dried and now I'm going to, I wanna put the word thankful on here. And in order to do that, there, I mean, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could take either um, pencil and just, you know, um, rub on the back where the letters are. You can use chalk. You can, there's a couple different ways you could do it. But today I'm gonna to try to use carbon paper. So I just got this from the office supply store. It came and it came. It comes in a pack of 25. Obviously I'm not gonna need to use a whole bunch. I don't know if this is gonna really work or if this is gonna mess up, not mess up, but cause it to be more, you know. I find when you do the chalk, it gets messier. So I'm hoping this is gonna not be messy or as messy, I guess. And just trying to kind of center this. Hope that it's straight. So I'm just taking a pencil and I'm going to trace over and then I'm going to take a black paint pen, black marker, and go over the letters and kind of fill them in. I just found this thankful online. I forget where, just Google thankful Ray Dunnish letters and it'll pop up, I'm sure. Okay, one, two, three. Well, actually, it's not bad. I feel like it kind of goes down a little bit. Yeah, definitely didn't have it straight. So I'm gonna just take one of these um, paint pens. It's Artique, I think that's how you say it. Artico, I don't know. Just gonna take a paint pen and kind of lightly go over it and see if I can't correct some of my error. I'm not really gonna be able to correct it too much. See how I made that F a little bit thicker and that line's not very straight. I'm gonna go back and try to fix some of that, like do a second pass and just kind of fill out the letters a little bit more because I messed up a little bit on that L as well. I decided to go ahead and paint. It's late. Well, it's not really late. It's like 9.30. But anyway, I decided to go ahead and craft some more tonight and I'm gonna finish this. On one side, I have the word thankful and I like that, but I'm also going to put on this other side, it's almost 10 o'clock, but I thought I would craft again just a little bit and kind of get some projects completed so that I can, hello, Captain. Um, Captain, get out of the way, thank you. Keep going, keep going. Um, I thought I would get some of the crafts done, uploaded, because I do want to share them before it's too late in the season. And I see a lot of people posting Christmas stuff, which is great, good for you, but I'm still kind of in the fall and I haven't even done any type of um, Halloween crafts or anything like that. So I'm just um, squirting some out and now I'm just gonna paint this. This is that artichoke color, I'm really digging it. It's a nice, I think it's a nice neutral color. I'm sure it's not everybody's color and it may not be necessarily a traditional fall color, but I like it a lot. And so I'm using it. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the stem. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that. I think I'm gonna cover it with jute, but uh, have not done that yet. And I'm thinking about this being a two-sided sign and I'm gonna paint this. This is his welcome. I would say I'm going for the rustic look, but I'm not, <laughs> not really going for rustic necessarily, but um, sometimes that's just how they turn out. I let that dry, but while it's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and try to paint this little part right here. I am gonna grab some wax paper to put this on. I'm gonna paint this little welcome sign with this chalkboard paint. That's the only black paint that I have on hand right now. The reason I did it on the wax paper is so that it wouldn't stick as much. Um, Hopefully not at all, actually. Um, right there, ta-da! While this is drying and this is drying, I'm gonna paint these little cubes because what I'm gonna do is glue the cubes on the bottom here and make it kind of like a stand. I'll glue um, two on this side and then two on the opposite side. I really just need to paint this front part and <laughs> Oh, almost the whole thing actually. Might as well paint the whole thing. As you can see, I've now been joined by Sock. I think this is probably gonna be a bad idea to let him be here because this is gonna to be too tempting for him. 
not you're already reaching for it we haven't even started angling it down so that way when i go to wrap it'll cover it up a lot better at least that's my hope probably gonna have to use a lot more hot glue than i'm thinking but normally captain helps me but today it is socks battery ran out so i had to put in a new battery and then captain decided to join the party nobody wants to be left out of a party I don't blame him now i'm gonna have to kind of double it up just a little bit right here because um it's got the corner trying to help captain okay so this is how it looks now and i mean i think that adds a little bit to the top now i'm gonna add in the jenga block oh you know what i need to add the welcome i don't know if i'm gonna use the other side but i'm making it so that i can what are you doing? so i'm just gonna put a little dab of hot glue this is metal so it does get hot but um i'm just gonna put a little dab and then eyeball it in the center may have to add some hot glue later but okay so for now there we go that's done now I'm gonna add these to the bottom. So I'm gonna hot glue these together first, and then I'm gonna hot glue them to the actual pumpkin. So the idea is to do it so that way it's like this, and it'll set up, that makes sense. And then I'll have like one in the back and one in the front, and then they'll be like the, they'll be like a base, I guess. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm just, I'm trying it though. I'm gonna put some hot glue on this, put it on the other side. Yeah, see, that works. I mean, that looks okay. I'm gonna put this bow on here. A Little bit of hot glue. Push that puppy down. Thankful and welcome. Could you even see me? I don't even know if you could see me doing this, but I glued a raffia bow here. I glued a raffia bow there. Last minute adjustment. I'm gonna add these two little leaves to this project. I'm gonna try not to burn myself. Huh, that looks kind of cute. DIY number three. So this DIY may not really be, again, may not be a true DIY where I'm showing you something, but I'm just trying to give you some additional ideas um, on how to create something that you may not have thought of. I use photo clips, I use clothespins, and I usually like to decorate them according to the season. So I bought these from, the, from Hobby Lobby and I used my 40% off coupon and or they were on sale. I did not pay full price. I just, I don't pay full price there. So I'm going to just kind of um, do the pumpkins. I'm gonna do the pumpkins in orange and I'll probably do the leaves in like red or yellow. So I get out my red and yellow just in case. I'm gonna see how this goes. So I have four, eight, 12, 16, 12, 12, and 16 is 28, that's more than enough. I'm just gonna do the pumpkins first. I'll do it on this one, since this one's already started. And again, I'm not, I can kind of cover up the lines a little bit because you'll still kind of see the pumpkin. I'm not really worried about the lines showing through. So simple and easy, like I said guys, it's not really showing you like, oh, this is how you make that. I mean, literally, I just bought these, I'm gonna stick these on. They do have the sticky thing on the back, but I'm gonna use hot glue to adhere them because I don't want them falling off. I'm gonna see how the yellow looks. This might be too bright of a yellow. Maybe against the other colors, it won't be so bad. Here's the deal. In Texas, we really don't have like a fall where the leaves all turn these brilliant, beautiful colors. We're more of a, like, more like they just go to brown or something, I guess. I've always kind of wanted to go somewhere in the fall just to see how pretty the trees turn. It's more like our trees just turn, honestly, they just turn brown. This little set of leaves and pumpkins are done. So I'm gonna take these, I got these from the Dollar Tree, so just a dollar for all of those. And I'm just gonna glue those just, you know, right about here to kind of cover up things. And then I'll be able to just pin the little pictures on there. So I think it looks fun. Now it does have the little, you know, whatever you call that, <laughs> sticky thing on the back, but I'm just gonna put some glue there and glue it down on the clothespin. And that's how it turned out. Now you can paint the um, clothespin. I've just been leaving them raw and I've been kind of liking that but you definitely can paint the clothespin as well. So here's how they turned out. I do have some more to finish up, but this just gives you an idea of how it looks 
after it's done. As you can see, you can create this with anything, with stickers, wood cutouts, just about anything. Just use your imagination. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making and sharing these things with you guys and I enjoy our time together. So don't forget if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.